Hi guys, I am Trish with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. This message is going to be for the weekend. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, which cards do I start out with, please? Which cards do I start out with, please? These? Thank you. Hope everybody enjoyed their Christmas. And I'm going to have a safe New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Make sure that you are staying off the road as much as possible. People get crazy. A lot of drinking and things of that sort. But... The first card that came out is you and your loved ones are safe. If you've been worried about something that's going on within your household, within, uh, you know, something that's going on with one of your children or family members, they're saying that everything is going to be okay. This is part of their journey. Some of them are going through a lot of turmoil at this time. Many people are hitting a crossroads when it comes to their spiritual journey, as well as their just regular life on life's terms. So a lot of old uh, patterns, 5-5, five, five, look that up. That's about positive change and transformation. But a lot of old patterns, old uh, thought patterns, old situations, people, places, things, careers, things of that sort that are no longer re resonating with people are being removed. So people's lives are feeling a little chaotic at this time and feeling like a little bit um, uh, what am I confusing, I guess, or frustrating, but they're saying that it's just making room for new things to happen. So you don't have to worry about you or your loved ones. Everybody's going to be okay. Everybody is safe at this time. They're asking you to not let your past hold you back. So if this card was actually talking about you being at a crossroads and not knowing if you should turn left or right or what have you, one, three, three, I was told to tell you guys for some reason. So look that up on sacred scribes. But anyway, if you're one of the people that have, uh, been, going through this chaos and confusion and feeling like a lot of things are being removed from you and feeling like you're at a crossroads. It's for a much needed reason, guys. Don't let your past hold you back. Don't let any fears and insecurities hold you back. Don't let things that have happened with past people in your life keep you from moving forward with them again. So if people are coming back into your life that were removed like five years ago or a couple months ago or a couple weeks ago, and all of a sudden they're in your face and spirits like you need to heal or mend things with them, Make sure that you're doing that because they are being brought back for a reason. It is now time for them to be in your life. Maybe things have been healed or mended or, you know, you guys are both at the, a good space where you guys are vibing with each other's energy or something of that sort. So make sure that you're not letting any insecurities or anything like that hold you back from what spirit is trying to do for you in your life. Yes, they're saying. So it could be with a family member. It could be with a romantic partner. It could also be referring to jobs or careers. Like maybe your old boss calls you up and says, hey, I, I want you to come back. And you're like, nah, that's done and, un done and over. But spirit's like, I need you to go back. There's something that you need to do there. So if you're feeling led to go back to a certain person, career, what have you, make sure that you're doing so. Anytime your intuition is leading you in that direction and it's not uh, fear-based and it's of love and inspiration, that's spirit guiding you. Okay, it's time to give rather than take. This is talking about your energy, your love, your time, um, you know, things of that sort. So if, if you're feeling led to go talk with somebody, give somebody your time and energy, then spirit is pushing you that way for a reason. So don't allow your insecurities, your ego, uh, your logic, your head to get the best of you and, and cause you to not do what you're meant to do. Again, everything is going to be okay. You're safe. You're protected. Things are going to work out. I did see a win-win outcome was on the very bottom um, before. So that may have needed to come out. But either way it goes, just know that everything's going to be okay. You have one, two, two new moon cards. Okay, so um, new beginnings is what this is re referring to. But believe in the impossible. Believe that this job that you're being asked to go back to or these people that are coming back into your life are meant to be there. That is something that... Spirit is saying now is the time. Before it wasn't, but now is the time. So trust that. Yes, they're saying. Which cards do I go to now? Thank you. What other messages do you have for... I'm sorry, you guys can't see the cards. I just realized that. Uh, it's not working. Anyway, what other messages do you have for the weekend ahead, please? Love, romance, finance. Yeah, detoxify is about letting go of any kind of... Uh, habits that may be holding you back, any kind of foods or drinks that may be holding you back or keeping you in a dense, dense energy. So like sugars, energy drinks, things of that sort, candy, you need to let go. But it's also talking about um, uh, fasting for some of you. Some of you need to fast uh, maybe for whatever reason, I'm hearing marijuana, somebody smoking marijuana, or maybe it's even cigarettes that I'm seeing, uh, you know, because I'm seeing like a joint looking thing. But anyway, marijuana or cigarettes, they're asking you to let go of those things. Four, five, six. 
look that up on sacred scribes, but uh, it may not be forever, but for the time being fast those things and you're going to see a major awakening happen for you or getting a closer connection with spirit, your divine guidance or something of that sort. You're also saying purge the sugary drinks, the energy drinks as well. So whoever that's for. Um, take a reality check. So what people, places, things, energies, codependencies do you need to let go of at this time? Also, what is it that spirit is pushing you towards? If it's that career or that relationship or mending something, then make sure that you're listening, guys. I can't say this enough. They're saying if you're letting your past hold you back, you're going to stay stuck. You're not going to move forward. You're not going to be successful. You're just going to stay stuck. Some of you, if you don't act now, the time will never come back around. You're going to miss out on the opportunity altogether. And then you're going to have those regrets of like, damn, I wish that I would have listened to spirit. I wish that I would have followed the direction of my intuition or what have you. Remember, you're safe. Everything's going to be okay. You're going to be successful. There is a win-win outcome forecasted. However, if you let these things from the past block you, your time and opportunity is going to be missed. Whether it's with a career or relationship or your finances or whatever it is, starting a new business maybe even or letting uh, friends and family members back in, into your life. I've got the hiccups, guys. I'm sorry. I keep like pausing, but I've got the hiccups. Which cards do I go to? Thank you. I haven't used these in a while. What other messages do you have, please, for the weekend ahead? Love, romance, finance, ascension messages. Messages from spirit or higher self. Both, uh, both of those? Okay. Yeah, so... Rochelle is all about honoring your heart's desires, uh, honoring the guidance that your heart has given you at this time, staying out of the ego, the head, the logic, that part of you that will try to protect you because of things that's happened in the past, but stepping into the heart that is all knowing, all powerful. It is the path. It is the way. It is the light. It is the truth. It is the knowing. It is the wisdom. So make sure that you're tapping into that and following it because prosperity, success, excellence and brilliance is all on the other side of this that win-win outcome that i was talking about and then a star is saying you deserve the best to so reach for the stars and don't compromise don't let your past hold you back don't let anybody uh be the naysayers and say you shouldn't be doing this or you shouldn't be doing that it didn't work out for you before it's not going to work out for you now don't listen to that crap but listen to the heart you guys know what i'm talking about any more cards okay guys for those of you who are in a romantic relationship, I have made my own tarot cards. These are channel messages that came from my higher self. And they are actually uh, things that I was feeling or my twin flame was feeling during, uh, you know, our time together and things of that sort. And I was told to make my own tarot cards. So I have done that. So I am just going to pull a few um, cards for anybody that's thinking about a romantic partner at this time or wondering what they're thinking about you or what you're thinking about the relationship or what's going to happen with the relationship. This is the cards that's going to come out. So I am working on healing child wounds. I no longer want to feel like a victim. I will heal my inner child. So some of you may be in some sort of separation or some of you may just feel like distance from your partner or whoever it is that you're thinking about. It's because they are healing child wounds and they have been feeling like they were playing the victim role or everything that you were saying or doing was making them feel like a victim and they wanted to get out of that victim mentality. So they are now healing those inner child wounds from their childhood or maybe even past lives that are helping them to be more present. And then I pray and ask for my next steps. I meditate to receive the answers. So they are definitely praying, setting intentions on receiving the answers from spirit on what their next step is regarding this connection, regarding romance or love, what have you. So just know that they are doing their part in um, meditating to get the answers. I, you see so deeply into me. It scares me. I've never met anyone like you. You are so connected. You see and know all. So somebody is feeling a little bit insecure maybe about the connections because maybe somebody is highly gifted and uh, knows what they're going through before they know and it's intimidating to them or something of that sort, but um, they are a little bit intimidated by this connection. So, and then I feel, I can feel your energy when we are apart. Can you feel mine too? Okay, guys, I hope that you got something out of this reading. Much love to you guys. Stay safe during the uh, next couple of days. You know, there's a lot of drunks out on the streets and, uh, you know, driving drunk when it's New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So just be real careful, guys. Much love to you guys. Bye.